Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to go over how to spy on your competitors SEO and how to steal their traffic. That's right, we're going to go over how to spy on your competitors SEO and steal their traffic. So I got an email, it was from a client of mine, Ryan, this is for you, and he's curious, he's like, how is this competitor beating me? You know, he doesn't really, their website is, and what is it, you know, if you look at both of them, he thinks one's horrible, one's not, but we're going to dive in, and I'm going to show you, I'm looking at this from just, just my point of view. Um, looking at the website and everything what's the difference about it and everything okay this is the website to me it doesn't look terrible um, it's not like outstanding or nothing comparing it to your site Ryan um, but that being said I do notice they have a lot of if you will um, clients that they worked with up here in this section once again, they have the reviews down here, their Google reviews. I mean, so, but we need to see on the back end, you know, let's look at it, you know, as far as content. I like the branding, honestly, of both your site and their site, um, quite honestly. And then if I look at the content, content wise, they got a decent amount of content. When you're in the marketing or web design or SEO industry, you're going to have to go at this like gangbusters when it comes to authoritative high backlinks. So, for example, you only have, and I use what we call Spyglass, and it's from um, All in One Power Suite, which I love and I've been using for years. But you have 2,000 or 2,100 backlinks from 287 domain names. If I look at your backlinks, right? Your in link, the actual in link is what matters. Your in link, you only have a handful that are actually decent, right? And I would say decent, let's say above 20, you have maybe 18 of them, right? Not much. Now, if I go over to your competitors, they have, and they just really started building backlinks this past year, right? They have over 163,000 backlinks from 689 websites, and they just have a ton of traffic coming in. So to me, I was I would wind up telling you really a lot of it is going to be from their backlinks and their strategy. Um, what are their text links? What are the things they're linking? This is one tool I like to use. Another one I like to use is called SpyFu. Um, SpyFu will look at everything and tells me the backlinks, where the authoritative backlinks are coming from, how many organic keywords they have in here. They're, they have over 1,100 organic keywords. Um, it's a really cool tool. I like it. You know, when you're getting in marketing, web design, SEO, you're prepared. Just go ahead and prepare yourself for a fight. But Another really cool tool I would like to use is called Azagio. Azagio, I can pull in their title, I can pull in their titles for their keywords, their pages, everything. Duplicate their pages. There's another video I did on keyword research and what I would wind up doing, and I know I've went over this before, is for instance with this site, if you go to their site map, I can look at their site map and I can find their exact pages they have, posts they have. And as you can see, this is a huge site. So I would then take this entire site map, create all the same pages, all the same titles, all the same in title and in paragraph, okay, SEO optimize it, content, everything duplicate exactly what they're doing because they're obviously winning okay you already found someone that's winning now you just have to duplicate or copy them and then make sure to add in your own mix i'm not saying to go out and plagiarize or copy everything they're doing exactly to the t but you want to get 
as close to what they're doing as possible. Then if we look at their posts, you're talking about, you know, I don't know, good, let's see how many posts we got here. Just in posts wise, 194. I don't know if you see this. So this is just their post. They got 194. And then if you go to their pages, right, their pages, they have 302. Now, if I go over to your site map, just to see, right? These are some ways I like to spy on the competition and see what they're doing that maybe I'm not doing that I should incorporate, right? So in your site map, if I go to your pages, now mind you, we already saw how many pages they had. You only have 29, right? They have over 300. Then if I look at and this is where I've said time and time and time again that site structure and content and internal linking and how you're siloing your content is a game changer. You know, if you just do the basics, posting content and pages and structure, and if you were creating an entity, instead of thinking about just keywords, think in terms of entities, okay, or things then you will outrank them. You only have 44. You don't even have not even a third of what they have. If you look at what they have, they got 302. That's just on their pages. And then on their posts, they have 194. So almost 500 pages to your 40. So that's why they're winning pages, content, siloing, um, besides all of that, then on top of it, they got a lot of powerful backlinks. So I hope this little, if you will, tutorial helped you on how I look at how I can look at my competition, how I can look at their SEO, and then in turn, rebuild using their same strategy, but with my own content, with my own information, and then in that turn, steal their traffic by outranking them. Okay, once again, my name is William, and in today's video, we talked about how to spy on your competition and steal their traffic. You guys have a great day and be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me SEO Black Cat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO guy, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the